I've often asked people if they wanted to know how I got into wilds, and usually the response is something like, yeah, okay, so yay, this video is finally happening. But even as I write these words, I find myself wondering, where do I begin? Wait, what was that? Slitherio. What is that? Slitherio! Well, I guess it's a good place to start as any. So, Slitherio was released on March 25th, 2016. I'm not sure when I started playing it, but it was after I saw some big names playing, like DanTDM, I think? Uh, I don't know. But anyways, I started playing it, and I wasn't terrible. I've uploaded some of my Slitherio gameplay, but they were never my best. I created this channel on May 25th, 2017, and I uploaded my first Slitherio video on June 2nd of the same year. Slitherio was never my channel's main focus, I just had a lot of it. My parents even banned me because I played it too much. So what does this have to do with Wilds? Patience, please. So a brief history of my name, Arcanum was one of the few Pokemon I knew back then. My main name for Slitherio was Alacious, which I used for most of my videos, among other names. And I used Arcanon when I was just playing casually. Since I wanted to get better at Slitherio, I watched Slitherio YouTubers. And one of the main ones I watched was a guy named Target. I watched him mainly until I moved to Wilds, and watching him did help me get better. And by the time I quit, I was pretty good. So, here's actually how I discovered Wilds. I saw a YouTube comment on one of Target's videos, and I pretty much said, Hey Target, you should try Wilds. I bet you'd be good at it. Me being the cringy 14 year old or whatever said, hey, I'll try Wilds. I didn't bother to look at the controller because, come on, it was a .io game, how hard could it be? Turns out, it could be pretty hard, and pretty fun and competitive. Maybe. Char and I have been friends for a long time, before we got into YouTube and .io games and such. That's why a lot of my older LEGO animations have his name in the credits. This is due to the fact that he's my older brother, so, surprise! Yeah, I, I showed him Wilds on the night I started playing, so we both started playing at about the same time. So, I was about 3 arrows to 1 star skill level when Rez added Bro Wars. This was a 2v2 arena mode and it became very, very popular. I played this new mode mainly on America, but I would soon start playing on EU to play against better players. Before this happened though, two things occurred. The first happened on October 10th, 2017. Rez added another new game mode, Graveyard, which completely broke the bone system. I recorded the glitch and uploaded it to YouTube. To see what I mean, watch the video. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. The video did decently well for my 20 or so subscriber channel, and I decided to upload more Wilds. My next Wilds video was Noobing at Wilds Arena, and I uploaded that about a month later. If I thought the bone glitch video did well, this one destroyed it. It featured me sucking in arena and is very cringy for me to watch. It was also my first video over a thousand views and it really began to make me something of a wild celebrity. At this time, I was staying at 3 arrow 1 star skill level, but then I began to play more on EU. I noticed a bar at the bottom of the menu that said something like matchmaking code. I asked someone what it was for, and he replied and explained to me how it worked. Can you guess who it was? If you guessed executor, you were right. I didn't know it at the time, but Executor and I would become pretty good friends, well, at least in my opinion. So, now armed with matchmaking knowledge and bro wars, Arcanon set off on his own to make a name for I'm just kidding. One day I saw someone in chat with Axe Rank. They said something like, yo, anyone want to be my teammate? And I volunteered. Man, we were a match made in heaven. Sort of. I kinda sucked, but playing against better players that Section Bash got me in against made me very good. Our conversations were pretty much 56, yeah, okay, with 56 being our matchmaking code. We played a ton together, and damn, we did so good. Wait, can I say damn on YouTube? Or not? Anyway, I finally recall a day when we made Fela and Master of the Weapons, two skull rank players, rage quit. I sadly never got higher than sword rank, and even then I was mainly axe and three stars. Even a few of the skull rank players said I should have higher rank. Pretty much from early 2018 to October 2018 was the best time for me. I made more Wilds content, and they got the most views. Sadly, I never actually got the chance to record any videos with Section Besh. He also helped me with more than just Wilds, and was a very good friend for sticking with me because looking through on their DMs on Discord, holy crap was I a cringe lord. 
Section Badge quit around the beginning of 2019 and rarely came back. His last messages on my Discord server were over a year ago. This makes me sad. Here's some unreleased Bro Wars footage of me and Char. Get ready. I continued to get better and better and became very well known in the Wilds community. My goal was to get on every Wilds leaderboard, which I did. But then something happened. Something that would change Wilds forever. On October 18th, 2018, Rizona released a new update. And the main thing were that the graphics were updated. I played it on maybe the first or second day of the update and I liked it. However, I didn't know what would come next. The new graphics slowed the game down and gradually most of the arena players I knew began to quit. Then Rez transformed the game entirely, changing arena maps and making Fort Mode a winter survival. Here's some unreleased footage I had just finished editing when Rez updated the game again. Basically, every good arena player had quit by 2019 and arena became basically dead. The game changed from being an arena PvP based game to a grindy 4 mode where a player could grind bones for hours. And this is basically what the game is now. It was after the update that Executor invited me to a Discord server where he was collecting old Wilds players. We'd often 1v1 post update and Executor was the only person I could never beat post the 2018 update. I beat him in 2018 but he had bad ping. Some other things I will mention is on March 10th, 2021, I finally achieved Skull Rank. On May 17th, 2021, I became number one on the leaderboard. Currently, I am number three or number two best player. Overall, I really missed the game for what it was, but I have no plans to stop playing it. I will continue to release more Wilds videos, and I will probably play the game till Rez stops paying for servers. So, there you have it. A brief history of Arcanine. I didn't really cover as much as I wanted to, but I didn't really want to make a long video, and this video actually turned out a lot to be a lot shorter than I kind of anticipated, but I suppose that's okay. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, maybe even leave a comment, and actually if you have any questions about my Wilds experience, or what I have planned, then you can ask right in the comments, or join my Discord server to talk more in depth with me. But yeah, remember to uh, subscribe, um, did I already say like the video? I don't know, do all that stuff that people usually say. Yeah, I, I'm not good with outros, but you know, who really cares? Alright, well, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, here's some bloopers, and goodbye. The first happened on October 10th, 2017. Rez added another new game, Mart. The first happened on October 10th, 2017. Rez added another new game mode, Graveyard, which completely broke the bone system. So now armed with a match with So now armed with ma matchmaking knowledge <laughs> This is a tongue twister. <laughs> so now armed with matchmaking knowledge and Brawl Wars are pretty much from early uh, uh, Pretty much from early twenty eighteen to October twenty eighteen was the best time for me. Overall, I really missed the game for what it was, but I have no plans to stop playing it. I will continue to release more Wilds videos, and I will probably play the game till Rez stops playing. 
but the rest never played in the first place. 